Today our champion Steve Reno of Southbridge faces the challenge of Dick O'Connell of Brockton on Hamilton Bowling. Hi everybody, welcome once again to Hamilton Bowling. I'm Don Gillis and uh, you all know by now this program is on videotape. We do that sometimes several weeks before you see the telecast. So we do our taping here at the fairway on the Route 9 of the Worcester Turnpike in Natick, Massachusetts. It's always three strings of Hamilton Bowling. It's total pinfall which will determine our winner. He'll be rewarded with a tangible souvenir. And that's a trophy from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. The runner-up receives uh, an identical, almost identical, slightly smaller, indicating that he was a participant on our show. Now we have guaranteed prize money of $1,150. $700 goes to the winner, $300 goes to the runner-up. There's $50 available to the winner of each string, and obviously if they tie, then they split that at $25 apiece. We have a certificate here. It says, congratulations, you have won a $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. That goes to our march of the day, the bowler with the most march. Lots of other opportunities for our bowlers to get rich, and I'll talk about that as the show progresses, but right now, let's meet today's bowler, shall we? First of all, Dick, we haven't seen you for a while, so I want to talk to you. Um, it seems a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit unfair. He's the defending state champion as we stand here. Yeah. And uh, you've been on three previous times, and you have faced Max Valentin, one of our winners of our big championship show, Paul Berger, and Tim Lipke. Uh, and now you draw this guy. <laughs> I think that's the thing to me. I, I always get to you guys, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, of course, you had something in your corner because you were the former World Candleton Bowling Congress Pro Bowler of the Year. So it should be a pretty good one. And Steve? Are you enjoying this? Oh, I love it. <laughs> you're rolling it's along, great. Right? It's great. Uh, one of the things I noticed now about you, I want you to turn because you're a young, good-looking guy, and everybody wants to see you. Don't see the back of your head, you know? Uh, tell me, uh, did your dad teach you bowling? Because you, you and he are now the, the double champion. He started me off. He got me going when I was a little kid and put me in the leaves, and uh, then I been on my own. How do you figure out that you can throw the ball as hard as you do and be as accurate as you are? Uh, unless you watch them tell me also. Yeah, you bowl out of the same hook. Yeah, we <laughs> bowl together. Okay, you're both great bowlers, and it should be a fine match, and we'll look forward to having a shot right after this. Good luck to both of you. All right, getting underway, here is our challenger, Dick O'Connell of Brockton. League average, 124. Good start, fair lead, right off the bat. As the three and the six. Wood. He has a fair to start. His high single is 197 and his high 3456. He had a 690 in his five string roll off. Five. Four horsemen right side, seven pin over on the left, and a piece of wood. But he'll have to wait until it settles down. This is representing the timber lanes in Abington. He's an electrical contractor by profession. There. Yes, back door, but it worked. So he starts with a pair of stairs. Here's our defending champion, Steve Reno. Two full on the head pin, so he winds up with almost a spread eagle. Five pin standing, three on the left, two on the right. Goes to the right side and gets rid of that. Now he'll try for the 10. Gets one. So it's an eight. Steve Reno is single, works as an auto body repairman, and as he mentioned, representing the Hippodrome Lane, where Tom Osa is the manager. Three pins on the left. Two, four, seven. Made the spare. 
Dick O'Connell coming up now. Just four. But he has the four horsemen on the right side and the four seven over on the left. Took the four horsemen but did not get the easy. So he had an opportunity for bonus money because three marks in a row, any combination of strikes that stays in the same string, establishes a bonus of fifty dollars here on this show. Then each subsequent consecutive mark on that same string would be worth fifty dollars a piece as long as he can keep it going. For three strikes in a row, there will be an additional bonus of a thousand dollars. And each subsequent consecutive strike after those three would be worth a thousand dollars apiece. And just twice in the history of our program have bowlers put four in a row together. For a 400, a bowler gets an extra bonus of $100. Steve Reno, working on a spare. Big eight. Six and nine. Those are the two pins. Wood in front of the six. Wood between the six and the nine. It goes, and he has two arcs in a row. He didn't like that as he was delivering it. It went too far left, missed the head pin, so he got four. But the six. He had the four horsemen, the right side, and uh, the eight and nine. Excuse me, five and nine. So it is a ten box, and this is the first time we take a check on the scoreboard, give our bowlers a little rest for a few moments. And the score at the end of four in the first screen. Our defending champion, Steve Reno of Southbridge, Massachusetts, is 50. And Dick O'Connell of Boxing Today's Challenger, 47. Our challenger on the line now, Dick O'Connell. Good, big hit. Everything except the kingpin, the five. All those castle walls come tumbling down. And there's the king. First there, he has it, right on the nose. That's his third mark. Just a wee bit too full on the head pin. So it's a six. He has uh, the uh, two pin alone on the left and over on the right, the three, six, and ten. He tried to use the wood over on the left hand side to try to make something happen left to right. Now he will go for the three on the right and settle for an eye. Steve Reno. The 
a diamond plus the pen, but he has wood in between the three and the six, and that should help a lot. Oh, surprising. The nine didn't go. Three-pin lead at the moment for our challenger. Our defending champion, Steve Reno, in his first appearance on our show, defeated Dan Lasko, who had such a great streak. He rolled a 390 to do that. Last week, he rolled a 411 to beat John Miller. His league average is 128, his high single 187, his high triple 471, and he had a 714 in winning his roll-off. That's the five strings. That's what he's looking at. Punched out on the right hand side, getting the three and nine. One more. Is it going to happen? Yes. He got the spare. Delayed action, but it's a... Uh... Little too full on that head pin, but he managed to get seven. The two pin is the object, then he has the four and the six, which are, of course, on a parallel plane. Wood behind the six. Can he move that two over and get the set? Oh, he threw it over there, but it didn't go. He missed it. Great try. A nine. All right, Steve Reno, our defending champion, is working on a spare, so this will be a bonus ball. Six. And he leaves the four horsemen right side. One, three, six, and ten. And everything but the ten went. It's a nine. Danny Cartier here, keeping score on that big scoreboard, and Keith Williams keeping score beside me. There is a, a five drop, so now he's got the nine and ten side by side, but he has a little piece of wood that is on a kind of an attractive angle near the nine, and he'll be using that and hoping that he can move the nine over and get the ten. He did! Made the fair with it. Sometimes the wood helps, sometimes it doesn't. Dick O'Connell, today's challenger. He's left with the five and the eight. Two pieces of wood to the left. Oh, mystifying. The ball came back. One away. One more box to go. His reward is the diamond. You know how many times the bowler wins 
versus the diamond. Lock up another one for the diamond. Lee's average 124, going now for a 118. It'll be a 117. No bonus money yet, but Steve in the position to win the first string for $50. Oh! Big nine. Already at 113. One push. It's a lob, and that cost him. It's a lob, cost him. It's a nine box. It would have been a spare. So it's a 113. And it would have been a 114 clear. But Ralph Stewart is our lob line judge and referee, and he sits right on the lob line. Here's an inverted triangle now for Steve Reno to work on of the five and six with a nine in the back. Just the nine. Nine, 122. But that's good enough to win $50 in bonus money as the winner of the first stream. And the lob cost him. But that's why we have Ralph Stewart, our referee, sitting right on the lob line. So we do everything by the book. Score at the end of one. Steve Reno, 122. Dick O'Connell, 117. In the middle string, our defending champion leads it off. He's Steve Reno of Southbridge. Two, four, seven on the left, ten on the right. A little too deep. Pick out the four and seven, but the two and the ten still there. And they are still there, so it's an eight. Let's see now what Steve Reno can do with this tough spare lead, which is the diamond. Once again, the diamond wins. And it's a pair of eight. Beautifully took out the three on the right, but didn't get the the action over to pick up the four. And it looks like a roadblock. Maybe he can get it. I'm not sure. Nope, it was a roadblock. The piece of wood that was in front of the four. It's an eye. Kind of a strange hit. He's got the, the things in the front, but he's still left with two, four, seven, five, six, and ten. Just one more. Now he'll be trying to get as many as he can out of this. This is sort of a spray and pray. Just a couple more, and it winds up as a seven box. Sixteen.
Now after that lob, Steve has rolled a nine and a pair of eights. Now he winds up with a tough one because he has five and six side by side and nine and ten side by side. And no favorable wood. Waiting for that piece of wood to settle down. Now, as we told you before, we go strictly by the rules, and Ralph Stewart, who is our referee, also is our lob line judge, and his position is right at the lob line, and he watches the ball being delivered, and it has to make contact, clear contact, before it goes over that lob line. Steve going from left to right, but that's only one. So he's had three eights. Now again, you wonder about having the log upset him. Three six ten on the right, seven ten on the left. Ooh, he fired that over there, but didn't get it. Rolling wood again. And goes right to the edge, so it doesn't go over. to hit that one very accurately on the end of that piece of wood and use it almost like a battering ram. Dick O'Connell. The door was left open in the first two boxes, but he could not take advantage of it. All right, five and seven. rolling around, but it's the five and seven, and now it just has to be determined where will that wood stop, because you can't fire while the wood is moving. Now, if it appears to have stopped, and then he releases the ball and the wood moves again, that's okay, because it had apparently stopped when he did release it. Let's see what he can do now with five and seven. Made it! on top of the stair. Now we once again take a little break and have a look at the scoreboard. After four in the middle string, it is challenger Dick O'Connell 46 with two bonus balls to row. Steve Reno, our defending champion, 34. Steve Reno now about to roll in the fifth box of the middle string, just about halfway through. Once again, he winds up with that very, very difficult spare lead where you have parallel pins. Five and six, nine and ten. Some wood this time might help. Nope, it didn't. So eight is the fill. And ten in the box. Now Dick O'Connell. Dick has two marks in a row. The last one was a strike, so he has two bonus balls to roll right now. Here's the first. And he gets a tough play too with a reverse triangle here. Made up of, well, 
kind of a weird thing. He's got the uh, two, six, nine. Couldn't get that. So he was unable to put three marks in a row together for bonus money. However, he leads right now after five boxes of the middle string. 65, 52 here. Right. Now young Steve Reno comes up. All except the seven. Seven ten with wood in front of him. Waiting for wood to settle down, which he must. And he has it. First fair. Bonus ball. Big hammer. Now he's warmed up, apparently. And of course, so has this man, Dick O'Connell. Dick O'Connell with two pins standing, the two and four. Oh, he missed it. So it becomes eight for the fill and a very important miss. Maybe a crucial miss. We shall see. Remember, it was a five-pin lead for Steve Reno after one. That's a strike. All right, each of the bowlers has a strike in the eighth. The first one to fill it will be Steve Reno, and he's leading off as defending champion in the middle string. This is the head pin. He gets six. He has left the one, three, six, and over on the left, the seven with wood in front of it. Miss number one. So eight is the fill. Nine. One oh nine. Three six four seven. Nope. Eight. One seventeen, which of course is what Dick O'Connell rolled in the first. Now let's see what Dick can do. He's got a strike up on the board. He's already at one oh three. First ball gets him seven, and he has that tricky little triangle. The two, four, five. He made it! Made it! There in the night. Object 10 becomes the 3. He has 3, 5, 6, 7, 10. Yeah. 
Great try. He got everything on the right, but the seven is still there. One more pin for a 138. That's it, 138. And $50 in bonus money for winning the second string. The score at the end of two has switched around now, and our challenger has taken over the lead. It's Dick O'Connell, 255, and our defending champion, Steve Reno, 239. Third string, and leading it off is our challenger, Dick O'Connell, who has taken the lead by 16 pins. And he begins the third with a strike. in a row, of course. An additional bonus of $1,000. But right now, he has a single pin, the two pin, to pick up for a spare. It's almost as though he waited too long. So it's a 10. And that's uh, a little break for Steve Reno. Instead of facing strike and fair, he faces strike and 10. All right, he missed the head 10, but he got a break because he just has two pins, the one and three. He missed the two, so maybe the misses are even now. Double miss. Eight box. Three pin and ten pin. With a bunch of wood. He got it. So now he has a spare in the second. After one in the third, the lead has jumped to 27 pins for Dick O'Connell, but of course his 10 is off to get a spare, so that will be cut down some. All right, he has the one, three, six. No wood. Made it. There. It's amazing how many times we keep seeing that unusual spare leaf coming up with the five and six side by side and the nine and ten behind them. You can go a long time before you see that, and here we've seen it several times. Both, actually I can remember some last week too. Got three of them, but the ten is still there. Ten bucks. I've mentioned our scorekeepers and Ralph Stewart. Our statistician and coordinator is John Riley, and our man in charge, producer director, is Joe Rubin. Here's Steve Reno. A little too full. He gets seven. This will be tough. 
There's Ralph Stewart again, sitting in his accustomed position, as I said, on the lot line. He got a break. He got a break, and he knows it, because he had the two pins, the four and six. They're a long way apart. He got the two and four and expected that he was going to be missing the six, but he got that lucky bounce. So it's two in a row. Now a bonus again. And he got himself a strike, so it's $50 in bonus money, and he's getting hot right now. Dick O'Connell, today's challenger. He's been hot ever since uh, halfway through the match. He had four months in the first string. Then actually started in the third box of the second string with fair, fair, ten, fair, ten, strike, fair, ten. Winding up with a 138. Single pin. The seven to pick up. Yes, he has it. Fair. Six and ten over on the right to convert. Missed it. Taking the ten and missing the six. Just a little too far to the right. Boy, it's close. You're 60 feet away, remember. You're rolling a small ball at a skinny pin. has three marks in a row and he's working on a strike right now. First bonus ball. That gets him eight. And a chance for another for four marks in a row. With the three and six. Yes, he has it. He has four marks in a row. O'Connell lead down to six. And he's got another one. What a great streak right now by our defending champion, Steve Reno. Five marks in a row. Now Dick O'Connell. And Dick gets everything except the team's in the five. He has that first fair. Yes. Right on. Well, almost right on. They went down. That's the important thing. Bonus. He has seven more. One of that four pin to go down, but it didn't, so he'll have to work on it. He has the three and six on the right, the four pin over on the left. The three becomes the object. And, oh, just a wood. He still got it. How about that? A slow motion spin. You can see Dick's reaction to that. He had missed the three pin, knocked down the six, and the ball came back. Got the four and rolled over, or rather got the uh, three and went over and got the four. See, Reno gets himself a nine drop. He has a single pin over on the right to pick up. It's the ten. Oh, piece of wood bouncing around. Another! Oh, it went over the cliff, down into the pit. 
Down into the gutter and down. So the street stop there. And it's a 10. He's at 112. All except the 7 10. He said, Wood over on the right. The 7 10 all by itself. He has it right on the nose for another spare. Right now, the three pin lead. Wow, what a big hit that was for Dick O'Connell because his 16 pin lead had been cut to three. Now he gets a strike and he also picks up $50 in bonus money for three marks in a row. Double, double, First ball gets an eight. He said wood in the middle. Six pin and seven pin. Two pieces of wood in between. And he will use them. He tried as he went for the six pin over on the right. One forty eight. Four oh three. All right, Steve Reno working on a spear. He gets a strike on it. All right, right now he's at 142. Two bonus balls to roll. Two four on the head pin. That gets him six. Did not work. One forty nine and a nine. One sixty four. And so Dick O'Connell is our new champion. By six pins. So there's an extra bonus of $100 to Dick O'Connell and 50 to Steve Reno for winning the third string. There's the final total. Our new champion, Dick O'Connell, 403. Steve Reno, our former champion, 397. $150 in this home viewer jackpot. Quick reminder again, if you'd like to send in a card taking a guess to what you think that the uh, total pinfall would be, both bowlers combined on a day that your card would be chosen, Please send it along to Candleton Bowling, WCVB TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts, zip code number 02192. And you know, of course, that when we do have a winner, we will empty this out and start all over again. And uh, the only restrictions we give you is that make sure it's on a postcard and no more than one per day. We also allow, as you know, 10 either side. Now, today's an unusual total. It came out to an even 800. But that means that if I draw a card anywhere from 810 to 790 or 790 to 810, whichever way you want to say it, that person will win the 150. However, when I draw that card, that person will not go away unrewarded. These will be the prizes he or she will get. A Barbasol gift set of men's toiletries, including shave cream and glide stick deodorant. 
Barbasol Shave Cream has lather as thick and rich as other leading foams, but can cost only half as much. And our Hyphenex Plant Food Gift Set contains fine quality Hyphenex care products. Grow bigger, hardier plants with Hyphenex Plant Food. Hyphenex makes house plants grow like crazy. And Chesson Cologne, easy to wear, hard to resist. To a man, the most comfortable fragrance. To a woman, the most compelling. All right. As you know, 7 9 to 8 10. Otherwise, we will go to $200 next week. Sit down here somewhere and draw one out. See what we get. This card comes from Alice D'Agostino, 276 Pleasant Street, East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. And her guess is 7 8 7. She missed by 3. Son of a gun. Okay, next week it'll be worth $200. Now, Richard. $1,400 if you knock down those three pins. All right, Steve. Still alive. No, and it's still there, and now it goes to 1425. Come on up here, guys. Steve, I know you you were hoping that it would be a longer time before I got around to giving you the smaller trophy, right? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> uh, let me, let me, I'm sure that there are a lot of folks out there asking the question. When the lob was called, did that throw you for a little while? No, I didn't really bother you. I guess you got a shot right away. Did you? I wondered because you got a nine and three eights in a row right after that. And I wondered. I had a little four on the head and I was trying to go too split. Okay, so then you, you got a single in by. Okay, well good. That's what I'm, I wanted to know. Let's see what kind of a reward you had. You had $300 plus uh, $250 in bonus money. And uh, eternal thanks for giving us some great bowling, okay? And I'm sure that we'll be seeing you many, many times again. I hope so. Hey, Dick, finally did it, huh? Finally did it. How about that, huh? How many the time? Well, it, it must feel particularly good, then, huh? It's easy. No, I know. That. Oh, how well I know. Let's see. For you today, we have uh, $700 plus $200 in bonus money, plus a $50 gift certificate for being our marksman of the day, and the pleasure of facing Gary Kahn for next week. <laughs> that's right. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye, everybody, till next week. Don Gillis for the whole crew.